Hello and welcome to Model Dads. Today, thanks to Nick, we're going to be taking a look at Eureka Miniatures 28mm Seal Team 6. Eureka Miniatures Seal Team 6 is available in two different packs, only one of which I believe is listed on their website. 100 MOD 62A consists of seven figures and six pairs of optional night vision goggles and is available for 20 Australian dollars. That's about £11.85 or 19 US dollars. 100 MOD 62B, which I can't locate on Eureka's website, consists of four two-piece figures with detachable heads modelling the latest generation of night vision goggles. No price for this one, but I'll email Nick and ask. Eureka seals are intended to represent the approximately two dozen operators from Red Squadron of the United States Naval Special Warfare Development Group, DEVGRU, during Operation Neptune Spear and were released on July of 2011, just two months after the successful operation itself. Taking a closer look at the six-figure A-Team first, you can see that figures are exceptionally cleanly cast on a thin oval base with only very minor flash or mould lines. Miniatures are well proportioned and depicted advancing, standing or kneeling in overwatch. Details are very clear and crisp and with the exception of the night vision goggles and precise weaponry now confirmed as Heckler & Koch 416 assault rifles and Heckler & Koch MP7s, highly accurate figures. Five miniatures represented with M4 carbines with infrared aiming sights, aim point and or EOTech sights. One figure is armed with a modified M249 parasaur. Hmm. Now I'm no expert, but I'll hazard a guess and say that what looks like an Ops Core ballistic helmet and two tube night vision goggles are depicted along with cry precision combat apparel, knee pads, salt gloves and body armour. Looking closely, you can see that three spare magazines are represented in the chest vest and even watches on wrists on some of the figures. A nice touch is the inclusion of a military working dog, the Belgian Malinois Cairo, who according to reports was tasked with tracking, sentry duty and sniffing out any hidden rooms or doors within the Abbottabad compound itself. The Malinois is represented in what looks to be a K9 Storm Intruder vest with integrated camera and communication system. The B, and possibly later set, addresses the few inaccuracies of the A set and includes the Heckler & Koch 416 with 10 inch barrels and suppressors, Ops Core ballistic helmet with rails, bone phone, cheat communication system, and four tube $65,000 120 degree night vision goggles. Again, the standard of casting is excellent with figures posed standing, advancing, or moving at the double. The detachable heads are easy to fit and enable a degree of personalization. There's even a Mark Owen lookalike with these bolt cutters stowed on his back. In all, these are excellent figures, well cast, proportionately accurate and with great attention to detail. Usable in a range of clandestine contexts, these will make for excellent small scale skirmish games in Afghanistan, Libya or Somalia, or the places where DevGrew haven't been. Highly recommended. <laughs>